Hello everyone, I'm Esan Tereini from Newcastle University and I'm here to present our work on the relationship between trust in AI and trustworthy machine learning technologies. Uh, I come from a computer science background and in there trust has been used or misused a lot in different contexts. For example, I'll give you an example here. Uh, trust is translated into acceptable dependence or is, there is a dependability as, aspect to it. And in, in other words such as TPM, which is trusted, secure, uh, trust, trustworthy uh, platform, that has some sort of a security aspect to it. So uh, when I started the project that I'm currently invo involved in, which is a multidisciplinary work between social science, uh, so sociology and computer science, I realized the notion of trust in society is very much more different than the way we have described or defined in computer science. And this paper is actually my perspective or our perspective on the, on the way uh, social science defines trustworthiness. Uh, everyone, as you might know uh, or you are know, everyone uh, has their own personal interpretation of, of trust. For example, in the specific case of machine learning, cybersecurity experts mostly consider security and privacy preserving aspects as being trustworthy. Activists normally use being ethical or consider being ethical as trustworthy. Or machine learning experts focus on accuracy and efficiency of the algorithm. Even in the wording of the trustworthy machine learning, as ethical machine learning and trustworthy machine learning are, are somehow used interchangeably. But when it comes to the principles in social sciences, uh, the way people trust is actually based on three or in, mo in more uh, modern definitions, four uh, definitions, which is based on principles called benevolence, integrity, and ability, or a framework that is, that is abbreviation of all these th things that is called ABI. And if you add the predictability over time, that's the plus, which is the more modern framework. And each aspect of of uh, a technology or in case of machine learning, a machine learning system should reflect these principles. The focus on this paper is only on the technological things or technological solutions that are in aligned with this uh, definition of trust for, trustworthiness. When we, uh, when we looked at uh, the literature there uh, in computer science, we realized there are actually two different approaches to look at the trustworthy machine learning concepts. The first is frameworks that are set by, uh, by regulators normally, and their target audience is usually policymakers, governments, and industries. Usually they are high level, and they talk vaguely on, on uh, very important topics. And another approach is technological solutions, which are focusing on low level approach. The target audience for, for those works are usually computer scientists and developers. And if we focus on the computer science literature, uh, we realized we actually distinguished four different technologies or there that uh, somehow reflect the definitions of trustworthiness in social sciences. The first is, uh, we, call, we call this as FIS technologies. The first is fairness technologies. The second is explainability technologies. Third is auditability technologies. And the fourth is safety technologies. And we realized, uh, all of these technologies has been presented in the policy making or the high level uh, approaches, but the granularity of the, of the definitions is much more different. In the specific case of fairness, let's say, uh, all uh, it's been a common agreement on a trustworthy platform or pro trustworthy machine learning should be fair. But when it comes to definition of fairness in the high level, and in low level, there is high difference. In, in low level, there is at least 21 def definitions, mathematical definitions of fairness and a lot of other, other solutions in order to implement those definitions. Whereas in the frameworks, it has not been talked like this. And uh, another, uh, another uh, aspect that we looked in the, in the paper is uh, how we can have an outlook or, or uh, propose an outlook to uh, reflect that trustworthiness in the, in the output of the machine learning. 
and we, uh, we coined a word that is called chain of trust, which is based on the idea that trust propagates generally or gradually in the machine learning pipeline from the start that is collecting data until the end that is inference or deployment. And uh, each of the solutions that are there in the technological, uh, uh, in the computer literature has focused on only a, a few of these, these uh, steps. And uh, if you want to categorize these solutions, we realize there are actually two high-level ways to look at the solutions. The first one is are trying to make the data that is used for the algorithm trustworthy, and the second is the, uh, the focus is on the mode to make the model trustworthy. And uh, then uh, the, the usage of the chain of trust is actually has four benefits. The first is each of these stages impact on each, on each other, and because the, iter uh, the iterative nature of the, of the machine learning algorithm or machine learning life cycle, uh, that impact is always a growing one. So if you consider it from the first step, then you will see that trustworthy impact of it until the last step iteratively. And the decisions that we make for the choice of technologies in each step is somehow affecting the other, the other technologies that are used in, in the other, other uh, uh, stages as well. And because of considering uh, trustworthiness in all of these, uh, these, uh, these uh, stages, you will have the opportunity to take care of the failures of trust more effectively. And at the end, I would like to conclude my talk with four takeaways. So, the same as the same uh, as concept of trust, the trustworthiness te technologies has been subject to various interpretation. For example, I'll give you uh, the, uh, the again the, the example of the fairness, which is the 21 definitions at least of the fairness, and uh, the uh, wording that has been used in the policy making uh, stages. And on the implementation level, the technologies normal, usually do not reflect all the requirements that are set by the, by the AI frameworks. This uh, creates a big gap that should be addressed, and uh, we need to consider trustworthiness technologies in a process that starts from the first until the last stage uh, in, a, in a concept that we coined as chain of trust. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot.